And now, the general weather around Alaska. Today's satellite uh, imagery showing system here sliding southeastward, uh, enough moisture far enough to the north that it brought some light rain here to the central Aleutians, just some clouds into the eastern Aleutians, maybe an isolated shower or two for the Alaska Peninsula. And then we've got a really weakening front here pushing in toward the coast, bringing some light rain with it. And uh, next system back out here gathering clouds to the west and northwest. And then low pressure off the southeast coast, uh, keeping a lot of showers, clouds, and areas of rain across the panhandle. On the light side, though, and some beginning to pull westward here to the eastern North Gulf Coast. Dry day there for the uh, Prince William Sound area, Kenai Peninsula, South Central Alaska, Copper River Basin. Areas of light snow with this uh, zone of clouds here over the central interior. Uh, light rain at Delta Junction, but other areas reporting snow, mixture precipitation at Bettles, and that extending back up uh, across the north slope to the Arctic coast. Rolling this through again, you can see this low center here slowly moving northward just off the central coast. That's going to start pulling back to the west northwest and spread that moisture into Prince William Sound. Otherwise, uh, today, there it is right uh, west of about Port Alexander, give or take there with rain and showers across the panhandle, I should say light rain with showers there, and uh, starting to increase a little bit around Yakutat, but it was a dry day for the North Gulf Coast, a little bit of clearing and cook in, a little bit more of that down to the south here, and uh, Copper River Basin, a few breaks, and then along the Alaska Range and northward, some light snow falling into the central interior, uh, mounts generally less than an inch, or in some cases even less than half an inch, and some minor accumulations with persistent area light snow for the central and western Arctic coast, extending down in toward the northern Seward Peninsula into the Selawik Valley. And this weakening front bringing a weak band of light rain with it right into Nunavak Island and along the Yukon uh, coast there to about uh, Cape Nuanam. And then the front spreading some moisture across the Pribilofs. And then this system down to the south bringing the light rain up to the central Aleutians. Well, that slides off to the southeast tonight. Another trough will keep it uh, kind of rainy and drizzly there for the Adak Atka area. This front washes out along the southwest coast with the front we or the low center weakening as well. And just some light precipitation with that and light winds to go along with it. Next system out here to the west starting to uh, develop there and move on to the chart. Light snow continues over the central interior, dry to the west and dry to the east here with some clearing and stays dry here over south central Alaska. Moisture starting to pull westward, this low tracking westward here and northwest from its position today to about this position after midnight tonight and uh, showers starting to move into southeastern Prince William Sound and we'll see tomorrow that low continues to pull westward by tomorrow afternoon now south or just southeast of Montague Island, so showers into Prince William Sound, possibly as far west as eastern Turnigan Arm, and over portions of the Kenai Peninsula. Stays cloudy with showers or areas of light rain for the southeast coast up to about Yakutat. Dry in the Copper River Basin, dry over much of the western interior now in an area of light snow. Somewhere over the central interior up toward the Brooks Range, Koyukuk Valley, Yukon Flats, with some flurries or snow showers down into the Tanana Valley to about the Alaska range, but all this very light, light snow, western Arctic coast, flurries on the east side, so no really significant precipitation expected, no significant winds, except for this system out here that's uh, pulling southeastward. That'll bring an increase in the winds and rain to the central Aleutian areas, but higher pressure here to the east, weak high pressure will make for light winds from the Primloffs down across the eastern Aleutians and Alaska Peninsula. And then on Thursday, that all changes. This low deepens as it drops southeastward here. And we're looking at uh, gale and storm force winds in for the central Aleutians out of the west and northwest on the back side of this system where the gradient is the tightest. And pretty windy conditions extend all the way back to the uh, far western Aleutians. Otherwise, uh, northeast winds uh, up to maybe 20, 25 knots there for the St. Lawrence Island area and some clearing over the Yukon Delta, but this system pushing rain into the southwest coast with gusty winds spreading up to Nunavak Island, rain and wind for the Pribilofs, rain and wind for the Alaska Peninsula and Bristol Bay, increasing chances of rain throughout the day and toward evening for Kodiak Island. And this low 
that uh, moves to about this position tomorrow moves northward and that's going to spread some showers in over uh, south central Alaska, mainly over the mountainous terrain here, but definitely cloudy skies right up in the Copper River Basin. And this all precipitation on the light side, light showers for the North Gulf Coast as well as the Panhandle dry over the central interior. Still some uh, flurries and light snow showers for portions of the Brooks Range, North Slope, and Arctic Coast. A little more extensive here out over the open water areas of the Chuck CC through the Bering Strait to St. Lawrence Island. And for the lows tonight, 30s to near 40 here for the Aleutians, mid 30s for St. Lawrence Island, in the 20s for the Arctic Coast and North Slope, in the teens for the Brooks Range, and mostly in the 20s here for the Central Interior, and 30s. South Central Alaska, mid to upper 20s for the Copper River Basin, lows in the 40s for the southeast coast. Kodiak down to 29, and you can see uh, King Salmon may fall to 19 degrees. And then the highs tomorrow, those will recover back into the lower 40s there for Bristol Bay, mid to upper 40s for the Aleutians, or for the Alaska Peninsula, upper 40s and near 50 for the Aleutians there. And in the uh, 30s, mid 30s or so for the uh, central interior from the Seward Peninsula eastward there to the Yukon Valley, upper Yukon Valley. 20s for the Brooks Range, lower 30s now for the Arctic Coast and North Slope, and 40s to lower 50s for the Southeast Coast. Lows on Thursday morning, well into the teens, well down into the teens there for the Brooks Range and uh, 20s, North Slope to the Arctic Coast and 20 to 25 or so for the central interior. 20s now down into the Kuskokwim Valley all the way out to the coastline, in fact, with lower 30s for St. Lawrence Island. Near 40 for the Aleutians, some areas warmer, upper 30s the Alaska Peninsula, and in the uh, 30 to 35 degree range for south central Alaska, and in the 40s for the Panhandle, those will rise into the lower 50s in some locations of the southeast coast for Thursday afternoon. 20s for the Brooks Range, lower to mid 30s for the North Slope and Arctic Coast. In the 40s here across Southern Alaska, mid to upper 30s in the central interior.